spot of boldness could soon be optional. This week, Cosmo Pharmaceuticals announced a potential cure for male pattern hair loss, a phase three trial breakthrough that has dermatologists buzzing. Men using Cosmo's new topical drug saw up to 5x more hair regrowth than those on placebo. In response, Cosmo's stock price absolutely spiked, jumping about 41% this week on the news. In this video, we break down Cosmo's big hair loss discovery, the company behind it, and what it could mean for investors. But first, two things. A quick moment to think about the poor man who got accepted onto the trial, but ended up getting the placebo. That must have been tough. And secondly, a quick plug, please consider subscribing. I promise to try my hardest to bring no nonsense value to your YouTube page. Thank you. And let's get into it. Cosmo Pharmaceutical is a speciality life sciences company headquartered in Dublin, Ireland. They focus on gastrointestinal diseases, dermatology, medtech AI, and pharmaceutical manufacturing. In other words, it's not just one of those one-trick pony biotech companies. In fact, they already have a dermatology success under its belt. It developed Win Levy, which is basically used for acne. It was launched in 2021 and quickly became the number one prescribed brand for topical acne treatment in the US. And actually, interestingly enough, the same active ingredient in Win Levy is now being used for hair loss. Cosmos's new hair loss drug is a topical solution containing clascoterone. Unlike current treatments, clascoterone is a topical androgen receptor inhibitor, blocks DHD directly in the scalp without significant absorption into the bloodstream. So this local action is a big deal because it aims to deliver finasteride-like results without finasteride's systemic side effects. The phase three trials were massive, 1,465 men with adrogenic alopecia in the US and Europe. The results were pretty jaw-dropping, actually. One trial showed a 539% relative increase in target area hair count versus a placebo, and the others showed 168% increase. The difference was due to baseline hair counts, but both studies clearly beat placebos with a pretty wide margin. In practical terms, that means significant hair regrowth in just six months. Importantly here is safety and tolerability, which was excellent. Side effect rates were similar to a placebo gel. Now, beyond the science, let's peek at Cosmo's investor strategy to see the bigger picture. A recent investor day, Cosmo's management unveiled a bold vision for the 2030 roadmap. They're aiming for 430 million in annual revenues by 2030 with a 40% EBITDA. So they're essentially planning to double or triple their business over the next five years. And how will they get there? Well, Cosmo expects roughly half of that 2030 revenues to come from its existing businesses, things like gastrointestinal franchises and partnerships and AI-driven medical devices, and the other half from new assets like hair loss drugs and digital health platforms. So anyway, back onto the hair loss drug. They're not necessarily wasting time here. They've completed the six-month efficiency trials and are already in a 12-month safety follow-up, which is set to finish by spring 2026. As soon as that wraps up, the company plans a parallel FDA and EMA submissions. If all goes well, we could be looking at approvals by late 2026 or early 2027. Now, the stock has recently surged to around $91 per share, near its 52-week high, of course. At that price, Cosmo's market cap is roughly 1.4 to 1.5 billion Swiss francs. And it's not like Cosmo is an early-stage biotech with zero revenues. It's profitable and even pays dividends. The stock currently trades at around 26 times earnings and about 7-8 times trailing sales, which reflects the market pricing and growth potential. Actually, just for reference, many pure biotech companies at this stage have no earnings at all. So Cosmo is a bit more established. They even sport a modest 2% dividend yield, thanks to cash flows from their existing products, a rarity in biotechs, and a sign of financial health. Now stepping back, let's talk about the big picture. Hair loss is a massive market. Cosmo's own research pegs the addressable US market at over 20 billion annually. We're talking about huge demand. Think of all the regain in drugstores and all the ads for hair transplants. A lot of people spend money trying to restore their hair. A breakthrough product that truly regrows hair will not only improve lives with confidence, self-esteem, it stands to capture a multi-billion dollar opportunity. Now consider Cosmo's valuation in that context. At 1.5 billion market cap today, stock is pricing in for some optimism, but not anywhere near the full potential of a successful global boldness drug. Even if they're able to capture a fraction of that 20 billion market, it'd be huge. And that kind of revenue stream would likely justify a multi-billion dollar market cap for Cosmo, possibly even several times the current market cap over time. 
Of course, we have to keep our feet on the ground here. There are still hurdles ahead. Competition could also emerge. And there's a lot of other companies working on hair loss treatment too. So Cosmo still falls, of course, into the biotech pharma category. It's inherently higher risk. It's best suited for those who are okay with volatility and have a keen interest in biotech or dermatology breakthroughs. So with that said, it's not a stock for me, just a product that I'll be replacing my minoxidil with if it does get approved. If you're excited about the prospect of baldness breakthrough, smash that like button and subscribe to the channel. I'll try and keep you updated on this stock if it ends up going anywhere. And for those who want to dig deeper, check out the pinned comments or descriptions. We've linked Cosmo's official press release and investor presentation so you can review this yourself. Thank you so much for watching till the end. Your support means a lot. Until next time, stay curious and invest smart. Thank you so much for watching.